A local scuba diving instructor has been killed in a boating accident in Belize. Good evening and thanks for watching News Channel 9. I'm Latricia Thomas. And I'm Josh Rowe. Gary McNabb was the owner of Leisure Time Dive and Ski Shop until it closed in 2013. Today, News Channel 9's Kelsey Bagwell spoke with several people who say Gary was much more than a diving mentor. He was also a dear friend. Kelsey. Generous, comforting, and kind are a few words people use today when speaking with me about Gary. He worked for more than three decades in Chattanooga teaching thousands how to scuba dive. Now the people who know and love Gary are mourning his tragic loss. I think Gary was an icon in this area for scuba diving. You won't find many divers or people that know divers that have not heard the name Gary McNabb. Tommy Duvall's is just one of the lives Gary McNabb touched while in Chattanooga. For several years, McNabb was the owner of Leisure Time Dive and Ski Center. But before that, he worked as an instructor, mentoring and certifying thousands of people who shared his passion for scuba diving. People I spoke with today tell me why Gary made a difference in their lives. For Duvall, he helped him become an instructor. Gary was an inspiration for me because I'm not sure I could have took that last step to be an instructor because that's that's a huge step that's a lot of responsibility in 2013 the dive shop closed its doors and McNabb and his wife moved to Florida he was on an advanced diving trip to Ambergris K in Belize February 19th when something went terribly wrong it's not clear how McNabb was hurt but he suffered a severe head injury while getting in the water he was flown to the San Antonio VA hospital where he died eight days later I was very saddened to hear Gary passed away because it was way before his time. A report in the San Pedro Sun newspaper says the boat's captain did not follow protocol when reporting the accident, leading to an investigation into McNabb's death. But friends and family of McNabb say instead of dwelling on the outcome of the investigation, they're remembering Gary's legacy. He was a diving icon. It's just a shame to lose him. I hate to hear that. The accident is currently under investigation by the Belize Port Authority. Meanwhile, friends and family are planning a celebration of life that will happen in Chattanooga at a later date. Latricia. Kelsey, thank you.